Hi folks, Larry Wingett here. Welcome to the very first Ask Larry Anything YouTube series. Here's the very first question. I'm going to read it to you. It's fairly long. Okay, I'm married for 13 years to a man who consistently gets his own way. He's the luckiest guy on the planet, but yet at the very minute before he experiences success, he blows it all up. He's got a good heart, but his emotions take him out of the game. He's had one opportunity after another and generally pisses all over them at some point. I don't know what to do to help him. Skip ahead some. He views himself as a failure, and the negativity is so heavy to be around. I know the economy may be a factor, but he has an auto repair shop, one of the best businesses to be in right now. That's true. It's a great business to be in. What can I do to help him? Financially, I just can't keep picking up the pieces. I don't ever bitch at him about his job or his money. I encourage him at every turn. I just have a hard time being around the negativity. Thanks. What should I do? Really? You never bitch at him about his job or his money? You just bitch at me about his job and his money. You bitch to yourself about his job and his money. Come on. Grow a pair, step up, sit this man down and say, look, your negativity is killing our relationship. It makes me resentful of you. It's called open communication. One of the things that should exist in every relationship, but certainly in a relationship where you're starting to harbor this much resentment and frustration. Sit him down and have a talk with him. Say, this isn't fair to you. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to the rest of our family. You have to get in control of things. You have to fix this. You have to stop bailing right before you're successful. You have to stop making excuses like the economy and your partner and all that other crap. You have to take control of your life. I love you. I believe in you. But you're wearing me out and it's destroying our relationship. Have that conversation with this man. If you don't do that, then you are doing yourself a disservice and you are aiding and contributing to, to the destruction of your own relationship. Don't do that. Sit him down, open communications, talk to him, and fix this thing now before it's too late. Next question is this. Larry, I'm in a relationship with someone who has very poor money management skills and little desire to change. Is that a deal killer? Well, hell, it would be for me. It would be a deal killer. You can't stay in a relationship with somebody who doesn't respect money, doesn't know how to save, doesn't know how to spend correctly, doesn't know how to spend less than they earn. And when you tie yourself to them legally, like in a marriage or something, you're going to have big problems because their problems become your problems. This is learned behavior, and it has to be unlearned. And that may be more than you're set up to do right now. Maybe you're not equipped to fix this person. By the way, I don't believe you can fix somebody else. You can communicate what you believe should be happening in the relationship, what you think you would like to have happen to the relationship, and how you feel about that person and their, and their chances of changing. But remember this, people change when they want to. You've already said they don't want to change. So you're probably not going to be able to fix this person. Is it a deal breaker? Yes. Hell yes. Don't walk away. Run away from this person and find somebody new. Okay, folks, this is how it works. You write me at info at LarryWingett.com. You ask me anything about success, life, business, personal finance, parenting, you name it, and I'll give you my two cents worth. Remember, I'm the pit bull of personal development. I don't spare any words. I don't mince any words, and I'll tell you the truth even when it's the ugly truth. Thanks for writing in. Look forward to hearing from you.